Good morning out there, traders. It is January 8th, 2024, and welcome to the Apteros DMI, or Daily Market Insight, for the ES today. Let's start with our recap, and then we will update our levels and plan for today's session. So taking a look at overall what was going on uh, on the 5th of January, our last DMI, we had a line in the sand with a bearish skew to it here, with scenario one being a hold below that, scenario two being a push above that, possible destinations up above and down below for the stretch targets. And that was kind of the overall landscape of what we were planning for the 5th of January. Uh, so taking a look at how that that played out, we got a push back up into our line in the sand early in the session, taking a look here uh, at a spot for possibly to get on board with scenario one. It does not work out, and we push up above and break out into scenario two. Scenario two, looking for this first inflection. We never quite get there. We kind of stabilize off in this section here with a good opportunity possibly to get on board with scenario two into this pullback here, but never really materializing into much of an opportunity with scenario two. We come back down into our line in the sand at this point, having more of a bullish skew to it because of that switch to scenario two, uh, and it just doesn't hold, right? We don't really get a good inflection, no real opportunity here in this section, and then we get back into scenario one, which is what we hold for the remainder of the session with a good pullback into our line in the sand here, good opportunity in this zone to get short uh, along with that scenario one, it's, this is one of those sessions that can happen around a line in the sand sometimes, especially the, the, the shorter term line in the sands. They can sometimes get a little bit back and forth. Uh, and that's what we end up seeing with this session here. And scenario one ended up being the one that played out the best and cleanest overall. But it, you had to wait until the afternoon really to see that uh, particular trade setting up. And the natural opportunities that we present in the planning and the prep that we do, you know, they're not necessarily uh for any one specific time of day they are overall conditions and plans uh, and that's what's one of the strengths of the nadro framework is that it can kind of operate within any time of day it's just a matter of assessing the overall market context and narrative and then applying that uh assessment to the market and planning around that so this is what we were kind of looking at with our last dmi on the fifth with the best opportunities kind of being and coming from scenario one in the afternoon with some good MFE coming out of it. Uh, no real clearance of the lows, though. Uh, just kind of stabilizing around those lows and pulling back up for the remainder of the session. And that was kind of the end of the story for January 5th. So let's update our levels for today. So now taking a look at what's going on today, it's a much more neutral stance across the board here with the ES. There's not a lot of clarity where we currently are sitting in price. A lot of the recency is kind of going away a little bit here. Uh, we do have a general set of areas to pay attention to, uh, and we can kind of, I'll outline the overall context here of what's kind of going on um, around this neutral zone here. So this neutral area is our first line in the sand really on the session, and it's going to kind of dictate the overall outlook for today's plan. Um, the current, you know, acceptance picture around this neutral area uh, is to the downside, so that would be kind of scenario one. And we'd be looking for a push back down to this first neutral target. And that's really kind of an important level to get below if we're going to see any further continuation. So if we get some continuation off of that, looking to the downside here, heading into that bullish zone would be the overall idea or landscape for today on scenario one. That would kind of be the end of the line for what I'd be planning around that particular scenario. Now, taking a look at what could happen with scenario two, if we get up above this line in the sand, that would actually be a little bit more of an interesting play because we would start seeing the acceptance picture on the shorter term switching in our favor uh, towards the bullish side of things. So if we get up above this neutral zone here, we'd be looking for that first target area around the 4763s and then a possible continuation up into our main target, which would be around the 4780s zone. And that's really the full landscape what we're looking at for today's overall context. The important thing to mention here is that there isn't a lot of strong conviction right now in this particular narrative, in this particular context. So it's not a, a day where you should be pushing any one side of the market, really. You can freelance a little bit more with the acceptance picture around the neutral references and use that as a way to guide some of your trading. Um, but I would definitely be a lot more short term for right now until we see something that really opens this market up and possibly gives us a clear indication of bias Scenario two would be a lot more interesting to me overall with today's you know landscape because then at least we would have some shifting um, in our favor, something changing in this market. Otherwise, scenario one is the current what is picture. 
And uh, that's just kind of losing some of its steam in terms of the recency. So it's, in other words, it's been this way for a little while now, and it's not really doing anything. The market isn't really breaking out to the downside for us, or we haven't seen that happen just yet. So that's what we're really monitoring for uh, with scenario one. With scenario two, any holds up above this line in the sand area start to get more interesting because we could possibly see a traversal to the upside. All right, so that's the full breakdown of our plan for today. And uh, let's focus on trading well and trading our process as clearly as possible and making sure that we control our risk.